Well, praise the Lord, everybody. I think it's about 7 o'clock, and we are coming together once again to pray and seek God. I feel led tonight to do more praying than talking, so uh, I'm going to go almost immediately into prayer. I want to thank those of you who are joining me tonight. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. You know, the more warriors for God, the more soldiers we have, the better, okay? So um, I look forward every Wednesday to uh, sharing prayer with all of you. This is a serious time that we're living in, very serious time. And the only thing I know to do is to pray. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, excuse me, my allergies are acting up. Um, I have allergies anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I've had them since I was born. So, um, but I just feel a sense of urgency to just pray tonight primarily and do less Bible teaching. When I'm led to Bible teach, I do that. But tonight I don't feel led to go that way. So we're going to just really call on the Lord tonight and, and pray that he will hear our cries when I look at the news and I see the thousands of people that are dying in the U.S. alone, it's just mind-boggling. It's just unbelievable that we're living in a time like this. I spoke so many times to my husband in times earlier that I feel like I'm living in a movie. I feel like this is something that someone would write and um, play in the movies. But however... Um, you know, this is real. This is real life. This is what we're facing. And these are the end times. You need to know that in case you didn't. These are the end times. And it just shows us that Jesus is more soon to come than we know. That's what it shows us. So um, again, like I keep stating, I just feel led to do more praying tonight than anything else. So if you're ready, I certainly am. Um, as I said before, Turn off your TV, uh, turn off your phone. You don't want to be disturbed when you're going before the throne of God. Okay, um, so let's go on into prayer. Father God, we just thank you tonight. We thank you and praise you and honor you. We acknowledge you as God Almighty. We acknowledge you as God alone. We say that there is no one like you. We come before you tonight, Father God, first to give you praise, to thank you, God, for being God in our lives, to thank you, O oh Father, for the lives that you have given us, to thank you that we are yet still in the land of the living, to thank you that you have preserved our lives to this point, to thank you for our health and our strength, to thank you, O oh God, for how good you've been to us, God, for food on our table. We thank you for how you've made ways for us out of no way. We thank you, God, when we look back over our lives and see where you have brought us from. We know that only God could do this. We know that only God could bring us to where we are to get today. No, the road hasn't always been easy, but you never told us that it would. You said that many would be the afflictions of the righteous, but God would deliver us out of them all. So we are standing today, God, because you have delivered us from so many trials, from so many tribulations, from so many times of sorrow. Oh God, when our bodies weren't well, you have healed us and we just come tonight saying thank you. We want to let you know that we are appreciative, Father, for those things that you have done in our lives. And now, God, we come before your throne of grace, asking you to forgive us, oh God, for anything that we may have said, done by thought or deed, Father, that it may be one even aware of, God, that you would forgive us of those things, God, if it sinned against you in any way, oh, Father, if it grieved the Holy Spirit in any way, God, we're asking you to forgive us tonight. We're asking you to create in us a clean heart and renew in us a right spirit, Father. We want our hearts to be pure before you. We want to be able to lift up holy hands in your presence, 
presence, oh God, before you, Father. Oh God, we're coming to you tonight. God, we're praying, God, on behalf of our nation. Father, we don't understand all of this and we don't even know why you have allowed it to happen. But we do know one thing, oh God, and that you are still God and you are still in charge and you are still on the throne. And no matter what's going on, you are still God and you have not given up charge of our lives. Father, we thank you, oh God, because we know that you are yet with us. You are walking with us, oh God, through this valley. This is a dark valley, oh God, and some sometimes we can't see our way out of it, oh Father. We hear different reports, God, and says that we'll be back maybe normal by June, maybe normal by next year. You know the time. We don't know, God, but we will put our trust in you, Father. We have to say the 23rd Psalm, God, all the time, God, we have to quote it because we know that you are walking with us through this valley, oh God. And we will say that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want in the name of Jesus Christ. And oh God, we pray for all of those families that have been, been afflicted by this by this terrible virus, Father, those who have lost loved ones, God, those who are sick and recovering from this disease, those who are on ventilators, and oh God, we just ask you to have mercy, Father. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, God. I heard reports, God, where they're bringing up trucks, God, dumping bodies on them, oh God, because they don't have room enough in morgues. God, we asking you to have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. You told us if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, God, that you would hear from heaven. You would forgive our sins, oh God, and you would heal our land. So we want to start right there, God. Forgive our sins, Father. Forgive us, oh God, when we did wrong, God. Forgive us, oh Father. Forgive us when we, we, we didn't pray, when we should have prayed. Forgive the U.S., oh God for taking prayer out of the schools. Forgive us, oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Forgive us Christians for not standing up, oh God, when they tried to take prayer out of school. We just stood in silence, oh God. Forgive us for that, oh God. Forgive us, oh Father, when we no longer say the pledge of allegiance of the flag because it says under God and they have taken that out of the schools. Father, we're asking you to forgive us once again, your people, the Christians, were silent and we said nothing. God, help us, God. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Have mercy on us, Father God. We're asking for your mercy tonight. We're asking for your pardon tonight. God, we're asking you to forgive us, Lord. Wash us clean in the blood of Jesus. Put our transgressions behind you, God, in the sea of forgiveness, Lord, and help us from this time for it, God, to stand up as bold soldiers for you, no matter what it costs us, Lord. Help us, God, to proclaim your name in a world that is trying to put your name out of it. Help us, oh God, to stand boldly for God and the ways of God. Help us to stand for the ways of righteousness and the rays of holiness, God, even though the world doesn't want to hear it, even though the world wants to turn away from it. God, help us to stand for your principles, the principles of the kingdom of God, even though the world is fighting against it. Help us to maintain godly principles, no matter if they talk about us, no matter if they laugh at us, <clears throat> no matter if they scandalize our names, God. We've got to stand boldly for the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they crucified Jesus. Oh, God, they beat Jesus. They did everything. They talked about him like a dog. And, oh, God, who are we that we would think that we wouldn't go through that same thing, oh, God? You told us in your word, God, that they hate us because they hated you. Oh, Father, so we need to remember this. We need to know that the world hates us. And oh, God, help us not to align with the world, but help us to align with those things that you have said. Don't let us be mediocre, modest Christians, Lord, but let us be fervent, 
fervent and earnest, God, in our walk with you in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to turn around and do this thing right. Help us to turn around and stand for you boldly. Help us to turn around that your spirit and your glory might be displayed in the land of today. The land needs to see a move of God. Your people need to see a move of God. Unbelievers need to see a move of God. Oh, Father, send revival into the world. Send revival into the world. We need revival. We need revival, God. <clears throat> we need your power so strong in the church, oh God, that people will be running in the doors, God, asking, what is this? I need this. I want this in my life. Oh, God, help us to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. For it is by the name of Jesus Christ that all men will be saved. Help us, oh God, to proclaim your name. Help us not to back down. Help us not to be afraid. Help us not to be shy. Help us not to be timid. But help us to stand boldly for you, oh God. For these are last days and they're evil days, oh God. And you're looking for your people to stand up and show men that you are still God. And yes, you still save. And yes, you still deliver. God, increase our faith that we might trust you as never before. Let our faith magnify, God, and burst out at the seams, God, that we can believe you, God. As, as Peter and Paul did back in the Bible days. Oh God, we're living in this day and we must demonstrate God the same way. Help us, oh God, even to be strong in our homes. Oh God, where we might have unsaved. We ask that you help us to show forth the love of Jesus Christ and help us to show forth the principles of Jesus Christ. Father, we're calling on you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. You said that that name is above every name. Far above principalities. Far above dominion. The name of Jesus, who is sitting on the right hand of the Father. That name is above every name. So that name is above COVID-19. It is above cancer. It is above leukemia. It is above lupus. It is above heart condition. It is above high blood pressure. It is above every sickness and disease that man has named. The name of Jesus Christ is above every condition. The name of Jesus Christ is above every disease. Father, we call on the name of Jesus Christ that name that has all power. Oh, God, help us now to exercise the power that is in your name. Help us, oh, God, to remember that you have given us power and authority over the, the, the enemy, God, and, over, and have given us dominion over this earth. Help us to take it, oh, God. Take up our sword and our shield and begin to really fight the enemy through Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary. We just came out of the Easter season and we were reminded once again how you went to the cross and then you got up on the third day. And oh God, I've heard some people arguing what was the third day? Oh God, I've heard some people arguing what is the day that Jesus really rose? Does that matter? All that matters is that you rose. All that matters is that you got up and that gave us victory, Father. That gave us victory over sin and victory over the enemy and the blood that you shed still has power in it to this day. And oh God, help us to use the power of your blood and the authority of your name to bring this disease under subjection to the name of Jesus Christ. We bind the coronavirus in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we command it to cease. We command it to cease. We command it to cease. In the name of Jesus. We take the authority of Jesus name. And we use the power of his blood. And we arrest this coronavirus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name 
name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord, you said when two or three are gathered together in my name, you said that you are in the midst. So you are in our midst right now as we're praying. Yes, we feel your presence. We feel your glory. We feel your power. And oh God, we're going to take use of your power. And we're going to come against this thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to bind it. You said whatsoever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. We bind this virus in Jesus' name. We bind it in Jesus' name. We bind it in Jesus' name. We send it back to the pit of hell from which it came. Father, we pray for all of the countries on the earth, all those who are being invaded by this virus. We put the blood of Jesus uh, in every part of this world. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray for our churches. We pray especially for the pastors of our churches that you will give them wisdom during this time. Lead and guide them on how to lead the congregation. In the name of Jesus, let us lead not to our own understanding, but let us lead on you, O oh God, for your knowledge and your wisdom and your understanding. Oh, Father, we pray for our members, our, fa our church members, our family members. In the name of Jesus, our community. God, we pray that you will keep us under the blood of Jesus and that not another person will fall victim to this virus in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. God, help us to be doers of your word and not just talkers. It's not enough, God, to just know the word, but help us to put it into use, put it into action in Jesus' name. This is a time that we've got to put your word into action. God, I feel like it's now or never. It's now or never. We got to get on board, God, or we won't make it. Help us, oh God, to get on board and to walk in the authority and the power which you have left us with. You didn't get up on the third day just for us to be able to sing a nice song. But you got up on the third day, God, that we might walk in power and authority and take dominion in this earth. Help us to do so, God. We are your people. We are the sheep of your pasture. We represent you, oh God. So we want to represent you well. We want to represent you in the way that you're supposed to be represented. God, we want to be able to walk in the word, in our families, in our homes, in our communities, wherever we go, oh God, let people see the light of Jesus Christ emanating from us, oh Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be signs, wonders, miracles. For God, there are so many that don't believe, oh God, but even Jesus said he did these miracles, God, for the sake of those, God, that people might believe that he is the Son of God. Oh God, we need signs, wonders, and miracles once again, just as you allow Moses to do them, oh God, in order to deliver the people out of Egypt, oh God. We need that once again in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, we're looking to you. Who else can we look to? Where else can we turn? We turn to the rock. We turn to Jesus Christ, uh, our Lord and our Savior. Oh God, uh, we're crying out to you tonight. We're crying out to you tonight. Lord. We're crying out to you, God. Oh, God, we need your help. We cannot make it down here by ourselves. We won't survive without you, Lord. Oh, Father, we need to hide ourselves in you. Help us to bury ourselves in the word. Help us to not just sit around, God, and watch TV, God, or look at movies, Lord, but help us, oh, God, to draw close to you. Put the desire in our hearts. Put a longing in our hearts. Put a hunger and a thirst in our hearts to draw nigh to you during this time, God, so that when we come back out, God, we'll come back on fire, on fire, on fire for the living God. Oh, Father, 
We come to you tonight asking you to do these things, Father. We need these things done. Oh, Father, your word is life. And your word brings life. And your word is life. We need to pour your word into us, oh God, and activate it in our hearts, our minds, and our spirits. Father, that we might be able to walk in authority, walk in power, do signs and wonders. Oh God, perform healings through your mighty name. And now God, we submit this prayer to you. Father, we're depending on you. We know that you are more than able. We serve a more than able God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an all powerful God. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing that you can't do. God, I've seen you do it so many times. So many impossible things in my life, oh God. And in the life of the listeners, oh God. Oh God, in the life of my children and my husband. I know you for myself, God. And I know what you can do. And I know so many others, God, on this Facebook Live also have seen you at work. So, Father, we're coming to you knowing that we're coming to our Heavenly Father who cares about us and who will protect us, who will keep us, who will shadow over us, who will cause us, oh God, to stand in the midst of evil, who will, in Jesus' mighty name, keep us, oh God, from this evil virus. Let the blood of Jesus be on every doorpost, every bit of property, our windows. In the name of Jesus, let our homes be covered so that when the deaf angel rides, he will have to pass over us. When the virus rides, it will pass over us. And at the same time, God, I'm asking that you give us wisdom. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, and that we honor thee, the natural authority that is over us as you told us to do, oh God. And what we use wisdom, oh Father, don't let us go out here talking about the Lord is my keeper. Oh God, the reason we wear seatbelts is because we've been told to by the authorities that it protects lives. And so, oh God, we're staying six feet away and we're wearing the mask and we're washing our hands because it's been told to us by authorities. Help us to use wisdom, oh God, and not to be off the edge, God, in our thinking of how to serve you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, God, as we close this prayer, we want to close th by thanking you for hearing us tonight. We want to close by saying yes, yes, yes. We know that you will do what we have asked. We want to close by saying thank you. Thank you over and over again, God, for the protection, for the protection of your blood around me and everyone on this Facebook Live and those that will hear this prayer at a later time. Now, Father, I pray that this prayer has been a blessing to the hearer and a blessing to those that are engaged in it and those that will listen later. I pray, oh God, that fear has been moved. I rebuke fear in the name of Jesus and I bind up anxiety in the name of Jesus for you told us to fear not for I am with thee saith the Lord oh God and we know you are you're not a man that should lie but if you said it you'll do it if you spoke it you'll have it come to pass we stand on your word you told us to fear not you told us over and over again you are with us you are with us. You are with us. And we believe and trust you, God. If we can trust anybody, we can trust you. Now, God, we bless your name. We give you thanksgiving and praise. As I close, oh, Father, we put these prayers under the blood of Jesus and we send them forth to your throne. And we thank you again and again and again. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. For we know great testimonies will come out of this experience that we're going through on this earth. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Everybody say amen, 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 and amen. I will be doing this every Wednesday. 
The time is going to change. I'm going to change it to 7.30. 7.30 on Wednesday night, I will be praying Facebook Live. Thursday nights, there will be another minister from my church, National Church of God, on Facebook Live. Friday nights, there will be prayer, okay, again, from another minister from my church, okay? You can engage your church, all right? I'm just talking about my church, okay? God bless you. But I, this thing about prayer is in my spirit. I know the more we come together, the more God will do it. Do you believe that? Do you believe that tonight with me? Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. I feel the fire of God moving. I'm trying to stay seated in my chair. I'm telling you, I feel the power of God. Saints, we're on to something here. We're on to something here. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, that's as far as I need to go. Yes, pray. We are praying and continue to pray. God bless you. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. I pray that we'll get a chance to pray again next Wednesday night at 7.30. Amen. God bless you.